the map is loading, ladies and gentlemen. Let's find out whether Leenok or Flash is going to take the lead here in the challenger for Star League Season 2. Up here in the top right, we do have Leenok. Yeah, we do. Very vocal group of fans for actually both players. Mm. Uh, his opponent down here, the bottom left in red, it's Flash. Would Flash ever to Barracks Proxy? No, he wouldn't. No, never. No, he would. He would probably CC first on this map as well. Has he ever proxied before in StarCraft Two? I like can't think of a single game where he did. I can't think of one. I'm know? sure he has, but like I just literally cannot think of a single time. He might have, like at like an MLG or something, right? But I don't think he's ever done it in Pro League, yeah. at the very least. If he MLG has, is like oh, I gotta get new scrubs. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. That one guy signed up for the open bracket. He's like, I'm so sorry. You got me, dude. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. My SCVs do more damage than yours. <laughs> like. Well, we are going to see CC first from Flash again. Yeah. I feel like we should probably see a, a nine pull from Linux at some point this game, uh, this series, just to kill him straight up instead of waiting until he has Banelings. But yeah. uh, I, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Lino goes back to the style he did at game one because it would be good on this map. That's a pretty, pretty big natural, big wall to cover, and uh, as long as he doesn't let Flash scout him, he could definitely kill him again. Because Flash did the same build in game two, man. Yeah. Well, I mean, Flash pretty much does this build every game. Uh, he and Innovation are like very alike in that when they do a style, they kind of just do it no matter what. Um, and this is what I was talking about in StarCraft 1, oftentimes there were several builds where you could just do it on almost any map and like, no matter what all-in came, you practiced it enough that like, you knew what to do in the situation, but mm. in StarCraft 2, sometimes you just really have to know it's coming and if you don't, you can't just micro your way out of it, you're just gonna die. Yeah, there's, there's definitely ways to die, and yeah, they're firm believers of, uh, mechanics above all else, it seems. Like, yeah, exactly. As long as they practice their mechanics, they will win these games. And, you know, for the most part, it's true for innovation, at least. Flash, though, is still trying to find his way in a lot of these games. Yeah. Um, Flash just hasn't had the uh, kind of instant gratification success I think a lot of people were expecting from him. And it's a, somewhat of a controversial topic. I don't want to get too deep in it. But <laughs> yeah, Elephant in the Room article, if you guys aren't familiar with that one, then don't don't familiarize yourself. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> Maybe Legacy of the Void will be his game. You know? Maybe so. Maybe. You know, most of these guys probably have not even touched it yet. Oh, like, definitely They don't not. want to. Like, they're so focused on the pro scene. Oh, man. If I was, uh, if I was a competitor in this kind of tournament, I, I wouldn't even be thinking about it. I wouldn't look at any streams or have any interest whatsoever. I'd be like, well, I got to focus on this, and there's no point in trying to enjoy, like, a, a different kind of version of this game. You know what's funny is, um, as a hold that thought, we have a Roach Warren coming up, so Leonky is going to be aggressive. But uh, I remember there was a GSTL beta tournament um it was the preseason once and like jks <laughs> just to the one base failing bust he was the only player who just like just played straight up and didn't just try to show off the unique <laughs> <laughs> and like after his interview he was like i'm not practicing this game that much still yet but like yeah i thought i'd just do something funny for the yeah. fans <laughs> <laughs> for the fans that, that probably hate him now yeah. like uh, that's funny jks is our uh you know our observer here by the way guys yeah yeah here we go. We're going to have uh, like around eight roaches all up. Come down here and try and knock on the wall. Not a bad choice considering we do so, such a cut of Marines from Flash. You know, this can actually just kill him as well, mind you. Yeah, the CC is kind of poking out there a little bit. Uh, yeah. Very exposed. Well, I mean, two Marines in a bunker is not going to stop anything. And if SCVs come up to repair it, they're all going to die. And no roaches will die because two Marines against any amount of roaches is, is not going to happen. We are going to see Hellions on the way as well to tickle them. No stop. Oh, there is a stop. Oh, sorry. Once uh, this time. So he can get Banshees pretty quick, which is going to... Might be his savior. Where is that? Like in the south of his main? Yeah, yeah, yeah just yeah. down in the south. And there's a tech lab building on the back that I think will be for Banshees. Well, these Hellions are going to scout this. And they're going to want to turn right around. Yeah, they're going to run into it and be like, oh, okay. Okay, well, these Roaches do some gnarly DPS. Those uh, depots at least give them some layered protection here. It's like one Marine in that bunker for some reason. All right, there's the second one. Nice job uh, denying that 
CC from uh, finishing as well. Looks like he's actually going to focus it down. Yeah, I think this is a good choice because it's so big that it pushes the roaches away from the bunker. Well, he's having some hesitation here. Now oh. targets on SCV down. He's going to stop these SCVs from finishing it. Oh, he does again. This is actually so important. Okay, well, this uh, is a lot of SCVs going down already. Nine. And he's getting even more. Eleven. Oh, he didn't stop it from finishing there. And that's instantly turning into an orbital. But he's getting a lot of SCVs here. The mules are even losing mining time. Sixteen. And actually going to get a Hellion too. He's going to try roach. and fight the roaches. They, they might be weak. There's a few on red, but still, it's not enough to uh, really warrant any sort of Hellion committal to him. Well, that CC also is not quite very low, but he is he knows that while it's morphing, it can't lift. So, <laughs> just going to keep poking. He's going to Banshee. And you know what, Lenok, like, he needs to turn around here. I was going to say he wants some Hellions, but I don't think it's worth it. Well, I don't think the thing is, like, he can't escape. And he knows that Flash is going to chase him down with Hellions behind. So he's going to try and trade off as much as he can. Now it's going to be up to Lenok to defend against this. He needs to make some spores. Well, Lenok has a massive lead in Harvesters, but it's triple orbital, and he doesn't have a third base, and he doesn't have a unit comp that's like conducive to, to transitioning here. I like Flash's position in this game quite a lot. Yeah, he's going to have a good, good sort of uh, period in this game where he does have the compositional advantage. Can push the issue a lot with these Banshees. He can even cancel this third base. Yeah, I think that's exactly what he's going to do. Looks like he's waiting to see if there's any zoning queens first before he sends that Banshee over. Banshee's uh, going to have Cloak in about 10, 20 seconds. He should be able to save this third base if he commits his queens to he, it. Yeah, the queens need to come over, though. Ooh, this is going to be close. Another Hellion comes up. I think he's fine, though. Yeah, he should be fine. Flash has to commit way too much oh. if he wants to commit, but he has Hellbats. This could be different. This could be di Oh, second Banshee as well. Okay. Yep. He's not saving this third. He actually is just going to do so much damage. He's Hellbats. actually trying to kill. Hellbats can actually possibly end this game, yeah. Oh, more roaches on the way. Uh, mean, if he makes more roaches, that's like totally okay for Flash. He's like, okay, you keep making roaches. Well, look at this. I don't think actually will kill it off the roll. He, sh he should have committed to it when he had the chance. Does he have a transfuse? He's got a he's got a couple of transfuses actually. He's gonna save it, it looks like. But Banshee's still alive for a moment. <sighs> well, that was. Down. I feel like so much lost damage potential there. Well, he could have killed that third base, guaranteed, if he didn't try and chase those queen roaches down. Guaranteed, but a bit of a folly from Flash. Well, now the base lives. He lost a lot of his pressure um, because he lost all his Hellbats. Not all of them, but the vast majority of them. And now uh, Lenok is caught up in Harvesters, has a nice Roach army that he can use to pressure and make sure Flash can't land his third. And uh, his hatch is just going to be totally safe for the foreseeable future. Yeah, there shouldn't be really any fear of him losing it unless a multiple Banshees come along and try and right click it down. And we are actually seeing a third Banshee be added to this mix. I'm actually surprised we're not seeing a... Uh, you know, maybe mech from Flash. This can, with, with this amount of committal to Banshees and whatnot... I suppose he's like a bit worried about all these roaches. But the thing is like yeah. he, he still doesn't have like medevacs out or a large enough bioforce to where he can like counter the roaches either. We're going to see this Banshee come over here and click on this hatch, but there's double transfuse on one of the queens. I think the other one has enough for one. Uh, well, looks like he actually used them up for some reason. I think he might have... Oh my god, he lost that Banshee. If he actually had all three Banshees together, he could have taken that down as well. So another folly from Flash. Oh, the Observer just showing it was just a miss rally. He just literally rallied it. That uh, Viking might actually follow the same fate if he doesn't turn it around. Okay. It could very well, right? <laughs> oh. You know, Flash had like such a great position in this game. He may have just kind of squandered his. He did squander a bit. Yeah, I agree. Um, it's gonna be. It's kind of like the last game. You know, he just doesn't take full advantage of his of his uh, his early game like sort of movements and defenses. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is a lot of Banshee firepower here, but this bio is no combat shields, no medevac, so he may actually just want to turn around and fight this because he's losing a lot no matter what. Yeah. He's gonna burrow. Gonna force out a scanner, actually. Ooh, that's, that's actually burrow move. That's kind of cool because he roaches heal up. He runs into the scan, unfortunately, though. Oh, stays alive for now. Flash gonna commit to another one by the looks of it. Oh. Um, burrow and run if he wants. Oh, he's gonna actually wait till he's out of it. That oh, that's rate. so funny. Oh, another scan. Uh, oh my goodness, this is actually a huge waste. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> he saves them all again, and he's gonna move into it again. 
Uh, Flash is like just, I feel like he's like totally clueless right now about what's going on. He's got... He's getting taken advantage of right now. He's got two bunkers up at the front because he's so scared. Another? Look at that. Look at the stem. Oh, if only we could actually see the HP on the units at the third base. They're all in red. Yeah, now you're seeing it. And these roadsters can go over here and fight it because he knows it. He can't even stim again with those armies units. They're that low. He's not going to kill though because that's two banshees with them. He's just going to do so much more damage. He's going to force another scan. That in itself is a big amount of damage. Oh boy. Did you get the winning one? Mm, not quite, but it's not going to hit them. <laughs> I've never seen someone use uh, borrowed roaches with movement speed so effic efficiently against Bio like this. He's actually forced out so many scans. Just make turrets. Yeah, just put a turret in between those bases straight up. Straight up. Gonna throw one away for fun. He like really wants that widow mine. He's not gonna get it though. <laughs> I think he wants to force another scan. He's like, will he scan again for one roach? He might. <laughs> he might, or he might not. Like, look at the things we actually hydralis. Hydralis as well. Okay. I forgot about this. There was a hydralis in earlier, but I, it like, it was we just so unusual. It just kind of passed my brain. Like I didn't catch it. I'm like, oh wait, yeah. We're just having too much fun with this like borrow micro like flash sort of fumbling against it. And I don't actually know if he has hydra speed. He doesn't, right? They look pretty slow. Yeah, he doesn't currently. He's actually leading the way with hydras. What? A bait. The bait was real, but not really. He's uh, it looks like he's trying to snipe the widow mines before he gets in range of them. So now he has hydra range upgraded. He's about to have plus two armor in a second for all these tanky range units. Look at the supply. He's just gonna come over here and slap that that third base out of the sky. Man, it's gonna lift and blow up. Yeah, and that's one one turn against two one zerg, a two one range zerg. So definitely massive advantage for Lenok, but he's got to deal with these widow mines efficiently. Yeah, he doesn't want those to hit the Hydras. He should probably just try triggering them with Roaches. Yeah. They're actually, like, sniping them before they oh, get off. wow. All right. You just do that, I guess. I think he can just fight now, yeah. I yeah. think he doesn't have to be careful anymore. Oh, wow. And, like, Flash is going to give it up. Yeah, and I think he might lose the CC, to be honest. If he wants to. If he ta uh, targets well with the Hydras. Yep. Have that angry cat sound that Hydras make and knock it out of the sky. <laughs> it's like a cat hissing at another cat, man. Yeah. <laughs> just like that. Yeah, I get you. And this bunker, not going to live long. Actually doesn't even live a half a second. Uh, this is just too much for Flash. Like changelings pop out of the bunker. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got nothing in there. <laughs> Imagine you could do that. You put you fill up a bunker with fake units. <laughs> you like, like Flash, like, well, I can't. Why isn't my bunker attacking? And out know, comes changelings. There was actually like in the heart of the swarm uh, alpha. This like prototype unit that could infest bunkers and then make the bunker this like walking like. What? Uh, like, monster looking unit. They took it out of the game. It wasn't even in campaign, actually, but. That's so weird. Yeah. I'd like it. I forgot what it was called. It's probably like on StarCraft Wikia page, but. I, I wish they brought back the infested command centers, to be honest. Dude, those were so great. They were they were cool, man. It's just like a great way to, like, you know, end the game in style as well. Like, you make a queen and you fly it in there and, and infest it and. Like, One force out the GG. Yeah, well, this game is over, guys. Uh, well, you know, as, we, uh, as essentially is, but there's two tanks now behind two bunkers, so he will live until Hive Tech and then uh, Vipers come out, and then, he, then he's dead. Then we then we can actually call it. But you know, on the uh, topic of, of, like, infested uh, command centers, I remember, like, one of my favorite games of all time, and you know, those Brood War nerds are going to come out of the woodwork and, and, like, link it to me, but... Uh, it was one of the most exciting moments of StarCraft when I was watching like the neutral CC on the map get infested in his EVP and he just like started killing it and he's like just landed it and like started attacking the cannon wall with infested Terrans. I was like, oh this is this is gnarly, this is awesome. That is cool. <laughs> I like that. Uh this is Marauders in this drop. I wasn't sure what that was. I guess he's gonna come over here and try to pick off some drones on the edge. Yeah, well. So it like looks like a puny little drop up could, there. Could be to like try and kill that hatchery. Like it is still pretty low, five hundred HP. Wouldn't take too long for a few marauders, but if they had better upgrades, two two, uh, you know, only a third, two thirds done essentially. There are fifty one hydros on the map, Moonblade. Yeah, man. I think I've seen that much in this matchup since Stefano, dude. <laughs> well, you, I think we could see a lot more of it when uh, Legacy of the Void comes out, if everything goes according to plan. They start with Hydra speed now, I believe. So that's a, it's a pretty cool thing. You know, Hydras are, are actually Legacy of the Void Zerg is so scary right now. Yeah, they're, they're pretty damn strong. It's scary in a cool way though. Like I'm like, I'm like ooh, this is really unique. I don't get that same feel as when I see like, the Cyclone and I'm like, take this out of the game. I see the Ravagers and I'm like, they could use some tweaking, but that's awesome. Like, yeah, they could use some tweaking. I mean, like, they could definitely use a bit of tweaking, especially for ZVZ. I don't want to see Roach Ravager fights, man. It's so lame. 
This isn't a Roach Hydra comp anymore, guys. This is a Hydra Roach comp. There's six, like, misfit Roaches that, like, I hope the Hydras don't notice we're trying to be cool like them. <laughs> yeah, they, well, they're like the, the poor meat shields, man. Like, they have to take the hits now. Five of them. <laughs> They're guaranteed to die at the start of the fight. So I can go home, right? Uh, this is a Hydra operation. Uh, I'm a roach, so I was thinking maybe I could just uh, burrow on home. <laughs> spend some time with the kids. Well, Lash has stabilized up to 160 supply. Well, here comes the Vipers, which is the big problem. I think he's going to have to use the Ducks more than anything else to deal with these tanks. They're too split up. Ooh, but still, big concave at the top of that ramp will actually mean the end for a lot of these units. And he should probably get Hydra speed at some point. Uh, just saying, if you're going to commit to that many Hydras... I think he finished it. Oh, did he? Yeah, I think he finished it just a few minutes ago. Oh, okay. Blinding Clouds here, not actually hitting too many units because they're split away, but it allows the Hydras to close the distance. And all I right. think that's all that she wrote here, right? Yeah, two tanks at the back near the third base could cause a bit of a problem. These Marauders are lasting a long time. Look at Lenox's resources after he makes 23 Roaches, 26 Roaches. He's, like, totally fine no matter yeah. what he trades here. Oh, he is completely dominating this game. He has a gold base... Game is essentially over at this point. There's no way Flash is going to find a way into this 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 battle. The way oh Flash God. is playing this series, man, I don't see him taking it, to be honest. No, I think we could very well see a 3-1. I think that might be the case. Yeah, Hydra's going to go down, but that Remax. And he's targeting the Metavax, which is actually a pretty smart choice. Yeah, two more random roaches <laughs> going to come in and Baru. What? <laughs> nice try, dude, but A little too close. 3-3. Three, three. Going to be done soon as well for Lenok. Things are going to go from bad to worse as we see the supplies doubled, essentially. Yeah, um, this puny Terran move out is just going to walk into disaster. Once it gets up here where these roaches are on creep, a few vipers popping out as well who just got their energy. He can grab those tanks now. I mean, he can do whatever he wants. He can actually just do whatever he wants. He's just saving the energy. He's like, eh, well, I guess I'll... No, he's, he's gonna, I'm going to blinding cloud two tanks because I can. Why not? I don't care. GG. GG. See that frustration and flash uh, there at the end, even typing it in the wrong language for a second. Yeah, slamming out those keys. Exactly. I mean, the funny thing is, like, as insignificant as that sounds, you can actually tell how frustrated someone is by, like, seeing them, like, type it twice like that really fast, like, like yeah. how angry they are. Oh, yeah. Even if you put, like, a capital G in at the front instead of a